I was sitting on the couch, mindlessly scrolling through social media when my phone buzzed. It was a message from Lily, my girlfriend. Nothing unusual about that, we text all the time. But this time, there was something attached. A photo. I opened the message, and there it was. A bold, hot pink lingerie set, complete with a cheeky message plastered below it. Do you have a matching set like this, sissy? I blinked. My mind raced for a moment. Was this some kind of joke? I stared at the text for what felt like forever, unsure whether to laugh or to be embarrassed. I could practically hear her teasing voice through the screen. We've always had a playful dynamic, but this. This was on another level. Before I could type a response, another message came through. Lily, bet you'd look cute in this. I could feel my face flush. She's always known how to get under my skin, playfully poking at my insecurities in a way that only made me laugh in the end. But this, this was different. I stared at the image again, imagining her smirking while she sent it. Was she testing me? Daring me? I fumbled with my phone, unsure what to say. I could play along, or I could shrug it off with a joke like I always did. But before I could respond, another message popped up. Lily. So, do you? Asterisk. There it was, the challenge. I bit my lip, trying to figure out how to reply. In a weird way, I liked that she was always pushing me out of my comfort zone. It's why we clicked, but this felt like a new frontier, something that required a bit of boldness on my part. Finally, I took a deep breath and typed. Me, I think I'd need to borrow yours. Asterisk, I hit send, my heart pounding. Within seconds, she replied. Lily, haha, sure, I bet you'd rock it. Asterisk, I laughed out loud despite myself. Leave it to her to turn a joke like this into something fun. A few weeks passed after that playful exchange, and my birthday rolled around. Lily had been suspiciously quiet about what she had planned. Usually, she couldn't help but drop hints about my presence, teasing me days before. This time, though, she was tight-lipped, which only made me more curious. On the morning of my birthday, she told me to come over to her place around noon. When I arrived, she greeted me at the door with that mischievous grin I'd come to know so well. Happy birthday, babe, she said sweetly, giving me a soft kiss on the cheek. I've got something special planned for you. She led me to the living room where a neatly wrapped box sat on the table. My heart beat a little faster as I sat down to open it. Something about the way she was smiling told me this wasn't going to be an ordinary gift. I lifted the lid and there it was, the same hot pink lingerie set from the picture she had sent me weeks before. My face must have been a mix of confusion and embarrassment because she let out a little laugh. Remember our little chat? Well, I thought it'd be fun to take things up a notch. I couldn't even form words at first. You're joking, I finally managed to say, though I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted her to be. Oh, I'm very serious, she said, sitting next to me. And I dare you to put it on. I stared at the lingerie for a moment, then back at her. She was grinning, but there was an edge of seriousness in her eyes. It wasn't just a playful dare anymore, she wanted me to do it. With a deep breath, I stood up and grabbed the box, heading toward the bathroom. Fine, I said, trying to act nonchalant. A dare's a dare. When I came out of the bathroom, dressed in the bright pink bra and panties, I felt the heat of embarrassment rising to my face. The fit was snug, the satin material clinging to my skin in a way that felt both foreign and oddly exciting. Lily's eyes lit up when she saw me. Oh my god, you look adorable. She squealed, clapping her hands. But we're not done yet. Before I could ask what she meant, she held up two silicone bra inserts, grinning like a kid with a secret. These will help fill out the bra a little more, she said, not waiting for my response as she slid them into the cups of the bra. Suddenly, my chest looked, fuller. The weight of the inserts made the lingerie feel even more real. Perfect, she said, admiring her handiwork. But she wasn't done yet. Next, she pulled out a skirt and a blouse from a shopping bag, along with a pair of high heels. My eyes widened. You bought this, for me? I stammered. Of course I did, she said with a wink. Now put them on, sissy boy. There it was, the name she had teased me with in the text. I felt a strange mix of nervousness and excitement as I stepped into the skirt, Lily helping me zip it up in the back. The blouse followed, soft and fitted, and when I looked in the mirror, I barely recognized myself. But she wasn't finished. She sat me down and began to work on my face. First, she shaved off the little bit of body hair I had, her hands gentle but precise. Then, she brought out her makeup kit, 
carefully applying foundation, eyeshadow, and lipstick. By the time she was done, I looked, well, I looked like a completely different person. You're my little sissy now, she whispered, her voice playful but firm. From now on, your name is Sophie. I blinked. Sophie. Yep, she said with a satisfied smile. You're going to be my pretty little Sophie today. Before I could protest or even process what was happening, she grabbed my hand and led me toward the door. I could barely walk in the heels, stumbling slightly as we left her apartment. My legs felt weak, and my heart was racing. But Lily was relentless, keeping her arm linked with mine as we made our way down the street. Where are we going? I asked nervously. For coffee, silly, she said with a wink. Don't worry, you look fabulous. I tried to keep my head down, avoiding the glances of passers-by, but Lily wouldn't let me hide. She walked confidently, occasionally tossing compliments my way, loud enough for others to hear. My beautiful Sophie, she'd say, squeezing my hand. Such a pretty sissy boy. Every time she said it, my heart pounded harder, but there was also something, thrilling about it. I was embarrassed, sure, but I also felt a strange sense of liberation, like I was shedding an old layer of myself in front of the world. When we finally reached the cafe, I was trembling with a mix of excitement and nerves. We sat down at a small table outside, and Lily ordered for both of us. She didn't hold back, making sure the barista knew exactly who, Sophie, was. As we sipped our drinks, she leaned in close, her voice soft but teasing. You're doing great, Sophie. I knew you'd be perfect. I smiled shyly, still feeling the awkward weight of the bra and the unfamiliar sensation of makeup on my skin. But a part of me was starting to enjoy it. I felt different, lighter, freer, even in this strange, vulnerable state. Lily leaned back in her chair, crossing her legs and grinning at me. So, how does it feel to be my sissy boy? I met her gaze, my embarrassment slowly fading into acceptance. Honestly, I said, smiling just a little. It's not as bad as I thought. She raised her cup, smirking. To Sophie, she said with a wink, and I couldn't help but raise mine in return. To Sophie, I echoed, feeling more like her sissy boy with every passing moment. That day was the start of something new between us. She had pushed me out of my comfort zone, but in a way that made me see parts of myself I never thought I'd explore. It was strange, it was bold, and it was, us. And I knew, from that day on, Sophie would never be too far away.